It's brutal out of here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. Hi guys! So today I tried stretching a bracelet until it broke. I quickly made an example bracelet because I didn't want to ruin any of my bracelets. And here we go. So I kept stretching it further and further but it didn't seem to do anything to the bracelet. It was still totally fine. And at this point I was stretching it so much that the string actually got pretty stretched but it still did not break. So the bracelet got a little bit bigger on my wrist but it never broke. So here you can see that the bracelet is getting big. Not extremely big, to be honest. So sorry, but I could not get this bracelet to break. I honestly tried for so long. Bye. My thoughts while making bracelets on the roof. Let's try to make this preppy. Hash bracket. Kinda cute lols. I just spilled my beads. Such a mess. Making bracelets until my fingers start hurting. This is how I make bracelets using a bead spinner. First, you're gonna wanna pick out your colors. It doesn't matter how many colors you pick, but the amount. It's good to have a lot of beads in there so it's easier for the hook to pick them up. You can see my amount. My amount is actually kind of on the lower side and all it does is it just takes longer to do. Here's the string I use. I really like this string. It's strong and super stretchy like it says. <laughs> After that, you're going to want to take your hook and then you're going to want to thread your string to the eye of the needle. 
there's a couple ways of doing this you could have it face down make, make sure you know the actual hook isn't scraping against the bowl you kind of want to have it just lightly up so it catches on those beads i personally like the other way which i'm doing right now which is just having it on the side i feel like it catches my beads faster but it's all personal preference i usually work in little amounts of times and take little inches of beads and push it down in my hand but after you get a good amount of beads you're going to want to push it off the hook and onto the string i didn't pay attention and this happened i'm so sad all right trying it again we're gonna take the string off the hook we're just gonna slide it out i actually wanted to add some pearls to this and then after a couple of pearls i went ahead and i measured it and we always make sure all our bracelets are the same size i tie it off i tie it about three to five times i make sure i stretch it out too so it's not gonna break and i go ahead and cut it i actually really like how it turned out i actually also have an automatic bead spinner so if you guys want to see how that works let me know
bit that never gotta sweat that.